Welcome my friends, welcome to another aimless adventure coming to you from here on the streets of Bakersfield. Bakersfield, California is where we're at and we're going to check out the last operating Woolworth diner. We can't get inside. Disclaimer, if you want to check out now, I get it. Corona has destroyed all the goodness. For now, for now, not destroyed, hampered, hampered, so we can't get in their clothes. But we can check on the outside, and there's some other historic stuff, and we're going to just mill around the downtown area. There's nobody here. It's like a friggin' ghost town. Got some folks right here staring at me in this truck, but that's about it. Other than that, nothing going on. Midweek, completely dead zombie town. Let's check out the outside of the last remaining Woolworth diner in America. Let's do it. There it is. The last Woolworth Co. building with an operating diner inside. We'll come back and we will eat at said counter. But for now, let's explore more of the outside. Nothing going on, just me and that dude collecting whatever he's collecting. If you're looking for it, either get on your Googler or just go to K Street and 19th here in Bakersfield, California. There it is. Visit Woolworths Luncheonette. That is straight up Americana. That's, you don't get more goodness than that. I mean, just look at this. Look, look at the entryway. Check this out. Woolworths. They say it twice, so you know it's good. And check out, they just got old timey in the window. I think this is an antique mall that has, yeah, it's an antique mall, but somewhere in there is the counter. There's old timey stuff all over the place. There's like, is there a car in there? There's like a car down there. And there's some kind of counter over there, but I don't think that's the eat the dinette. I'm thinking it's on that back wall. I don't know if we can get a peep on it. Can't really see too much in there. Well, here are their hours. They're closed until further notice because of crap. Crap. Crap vid 19. There's that legendary signage. F.W. Woolworth Co. Look at that. That's just sexy. When buildings were sexy. The Five and Dime Antique Mall and Lunchette. Or Luncheonette. Luncheonette. That'd be kind of interesting name for a gal. What's up, girl? What your name is? Luncheonette? Okay. I have not seen one of those in a long, long time. Long time. Does anyone know what that is? Leave it in the comments. When, when I was a kid, these were all over the place. All over the place. Like, we had tons of those things. And now they're in antique malls. What are they getting for them bad boys? 22 bucks. Okay, so yeah. They were pretty common. But if you know what it is, post it up. Well, hello, sailor. Fancy meeting you here. Now that we're off the old uh, tripod deal, we can get a better peep because I can run it right along the glass. There's that car, which we kind of got a peep of before. Just me and old boy who's dancing back there, busting a move. I guess they're on Facebook too. Yeah, so it's an antique mall. Whoops, kind of glared out there. Antique mall and counter for uh, Woolworths. Here's a little intel. F.W. Woolworth Company Store. F.W. Woolworth stores have been in various Bakersfield's locations since 1911. The most modernly equipped and air-conditioned F.W. Woolworth store on the Pacific Coast opened to the public 
on May 6, 1950. Jackson Brothers of Los Angeles constructed the modernistic four-story building, which included a 74-foot lunch counter and sat 36 diners. F.W. Woolworth Five and Dime store closed in January of 1994, and the Five and Dime Antique Mall opened here December of 1994. Kern County Historical Society, dedicated 2015. And they also have a really sweet retro mural on the side of the wall. That's pretty cool. And this thing is big, man. This is a big, big building. I can see it. I can see the luncheon hat. There it is. There's the luncheon hat. There it is, the last luncheonette. We can see it, but we can't eat at it. Now, here's the question. When I come back, you guys are gonna choose my meal. Whatever, pick three things. Pick like a main dish, a side, and a beverage. Whatever it is, even if I don't like it, I gotta eat it. If you pick liver and onion, <laughs> onions, <laughs> You pick liver and onions. <laughs> I guess I'll have to eat them. And I will give you a massive power wedgie when I see you because I hate liver and onions. Uh, but if you pick it, I gotta eat it. Shake of the week. Mint and chip. Well, I've never heard it called mint and chip. But check it out, they have it downstairs. This is so old timey. I've not seen one like this since the East Coast. Wow, I'm, I wonder if they got any of these in the in the Midwest. Anybody know about that in that Chi Town region? Any of you folk? Wisconsin? Any of them areas? I'm backed up against the building across the street, and I can barely get this thing in frame. That's a big building. Just think back in the day. That was it, man. That was your super Walmart before Walmart. And across the street, you have the Crest Building, which I'm not sure what that was, but that's a pretty epic sign there, too. Love the old-timey. Check it. Over by old boy who's picking away on that guitar. Bam. Dude has got him a rainbow. Well, that's going to do it from this one from the last operating luncheonette inside of a Woolworth store in the United States of America. We will come back, we will be eating here, and you, my friends, will be picking what I eat. Entree, side, beverage. Whatever you pick, I gotta eat it, I gotta film it. Please don't pick liver and onions. <laughs> and until next time, adventure on. Uh.